Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today we have a puzzle called Five Black Trips by Rock Rat Zero. And it just looked interesting to me, so I figured I'd pull it up and uh, give it a go. Uh, as you can see, we've got quite a lot of killer cage digits, and we've got a different uh, coloring between the two. I'm not sure, if the, I haven't read the rules yet, so I'm not sure if the coloring comes into play, but we're gonna figure that out here in a second. Um, uh, just quickly before we do that, if you do enjoy my videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out immensely trying to get to a thousand subscribers, which would be absolutely amazing uh, for me. So anyway, go ahead and do that if you feel fit to do so. And uh, now let's get into these rules so we can get this thing going. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So every uh, row, every column, if I can do that, and every three by three box contains digits one through nine once each. Now we've got killer cages, so digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. So uh, just looking at any of these, let's say this one, this is an 11 cage, because the digit in here is 11, so these two digits must add up to 11, simple enough. Uh, every single one of these has its own uh, value, so you can make those uh, determinations as to what goes where. Now we've got ratio pairs variant, so let's see what this uh, is. Digits separated by a black dot must be in a three to one ratio. Not all dots are necessary. Okay, so this is just your um, a ratio pair type of thing. Good. So essentially what this means, and these are all in three to one. Uh, sometimes you'll see these black dots that have multiple different um, numbers in them. And that number inside that black dot just tells you what the ratio means. Uh, so essentially it just means that whatever uh, on this particular black uh, dot, which has the three in it, whatever this digit is, this is either a third of it or three times it. So it's just a, in a ratio of one to three or three to one, depending on how you like to read those ratios. So uh, there doesn't appear to be anything in terms of the coloring. It's probably just an aesthetic. So uh, with that said, let's uh, let's jump into this puzzle and get started. Let's see how uh, how well we do. So the first place and I noticed this, you probably did as well when first looking at this puzzle. Yes, I am recording. That's a good thing. Uh, is we have some single cell killer cages. So therefore we are essentially just given the values of these. So we can just st stick those in there as a, a nice quick uh, start to our puzzle. Now we also have a few uh, semi high digits or, or values, I should say in small cages and some semi low ones in small cages. I think we will we'll leave some of these just random markings that are going to, you know, we'll, we'll know what the pair of digits is, but we won't really know much about it uh, just yet. We'll leave those until we get some further information, then we'll jump into those. Let's start at this five, I think is the best way to go about it. <clears throat> because we know there's only two ways to make five in a two cell killer cage. It's either one, four or two, three. Now we know this is not going to be four. This is not going to be one. Now, I thought that might actually give me something with this three here, but it doesn't look like it's going to, because um, essentially what it just means is that uh, whether this is one, two, or three, this is going to be uh, three, six, or nine, because uh, a one to three ratio of one is three, clearly. Uh, two times three is six, and three times three is nine. So that didn't take me really anywhere. Now, is it possible that we can use some of these possibilities to reduce possibilities of some of these other ones? Or do we want, are we going to start uh, moving out into some other areas? I think actually a better place to start would be, because I don't think this, again, I don't think these are going to give me much information until we start moving around. I think right here is where the best place is going to be to start. And this is probably where after we'd done the singles, which were just givens, this would be the best place to start. Now, we have these two black dots are in line or in series, however, you know, you want to look at it. So essentially, we need to have three digits that are all in the same region, so therefore they cannot repeat, that have to be in a three to one ratio. And it's going to only be one grouping of digits that will work that way. We kind of 
uh, went through it here, it's the exact same thing. It's going to be um, 1, 3, and 9. So if you put a 1 here, <clears throat> you the 3 to 1 ratio off of 1 would be 3, and then a 3 to 1 ratio on a 3 would have to go up to 9. That's the only way to do it. You couldn't ever put a 2 because you did get a 2 to 6, and then you had to put like an 18 up here, which clearly that doesn't work. So this has to be 1, 3, 9. We know that the middle digit, therefore, is going to have to be 3 every time. We just don't know whether um, it goes 1, 3, 9 this way or 1, 3, 9 this way yet. But we actually do because we can use our clue of our 19 cage. Now we can... <clears throat> a little voice break there. <clears throat> so we can never put a 1 here because that would make this a 4 total. And this would have to be 15. It clearly doesn't work. So this is 9. This is 1. Now still, well, I guess we can... We can let's finish this cage first before we move on from it. Uh, so we know this is now a 12, so this has to be a 7. Now this 3 here, we can remove this as a 3, which means we can remove this as a 1 and this is a 4. So that does give us our 2-3 pair in our 5 cage. And I think what it's going to do is give us something on our 7 cage as well. Is, will it? Let's, let's see. Uh, there's only a couple ways to make 7 and 2 cages. It's 6-1. Uh, 5, 2, and 4, 3. We can't do 5, 2, or 4, 3, so therefore we have to do a 6, 1 in this cage. And we've got a 1 here, so let's put in our 6 and our 1. Now that 6 is going to finalize this. This has to be 9, this has to be 3, and this has to be 2, and we are moving. Now, do we have anything further that we can work off of from there? Um, like, like our 8 or our... Wow, I did it backwards. R6 or R8. Now, this digit right here, the bare minimum it could be is a 4, because we have 1, 2, and 3 in here. So this is either 4 or 5. Now, if it was 4, this would be 2. And if it was 5, this would be 1. Can't be 1. There's a 1 there, so this has to be 2 and 4. Now, I think we're going to run into uh, our 8 here, now that we have 2, 3, and 4 already taken up. Uh, so we can't do... <clears throat> six two or five three we could never do four four so this is going to have to be a seven one pair now we don't have a given for that just yet but we do have we can use that i think to further uh, this sudoku and the question is where is that going to well i guess once we had this one two we could look at this because we said the only, there's only three ways to make a three to one ratio. It's either one three two six or three nine. Well, we can't do one. Or can't do uh, the one three or the two six. So this therefore has to be a three nine. Now, if this is a three nine, this is either again the one. It can't be one three because we've already used that up. And it can't be the 3, 9, so this therefore has to be 2, 6. And we have a 2 here, so we can put the 6 here <clears throat> and the 2 here. Now that we know we have a 6 here, uh, we can rule out this being a 9, because it would force this to be 15 total, and therefore this would have to be a 2, and there's a 2 here. So this is 3, this is 9. We know we have 9, so this has to be 8. Uh, we've got what's left over. A one, five, and seven, we do not know. So what's what there yet? So I'm gonna leave that open. Now, is there anything we can do with these last three digits? We know we have to have a six in here, and we can't have an either of these two because of these two. So therefore, this is a six. The eight can't go here, so it must go here. And therefore, this must be a five. And then we can tell what these two digits are. Uh, they're gonna have to be four and seven. So that four and seven is going to give us this as a one and a seven. And this now has to be a five because it's the only thing left in this row. And therefore this has to be one. These two digits must be from five and eight. And that all appears to be working just fine. Now we can use this nine to look up here at this 15 cage. There's only two ways to make 15 out of two uh, digits two non-repeating digits, well, two digits anyway, repeating wouldn't help us in this case. Uh, we can't do nine, six anymore, so we have to do eight, seven. So that puts information in here that we can use at least. 
we might be able to do this 11 now because we have 5, 4, and 6 looking at it, and we have 7 and 8 looking at it. So it seems like the only option here is going to be 9, 2. Let's just make sure that's correct. It, it could be 9, 2. It can't be 8, 3. It can't be 7, 4. And it can't be 6, 5. So yes, it is 2 and 9. And we don't have anything uh, looking into those that we can separate those at the moment. Okay, do we have anything left in these columns we could work with, maybe? Or do we need to continue on with our uh, killer cages? Um, what seems to be the better way to go up? Well, this 13, we could probably do this 13 cage and this 9 cage. Because the 13 cage sees an 8 and a 6. So therefore, this can't be 8, 5, or 7, 6. So therefore, the only thing that does work is a 9, 4. Now, does that help us with our 9 cage? I think it does, because we can't do 8, 1. We can't do 7, 2. And we can't do 5, 4. So therefore, this has to be 6, 3. So we're getting some digits now that are starting to fill in, which is good. Now, I think we're going to see something with the 17, because we know this has to be a 9-7. It's the only way you can make 16 in two cells. And then we've got a 9 looking at it, so therefore this must be 7, and this must be 9. And then it's going to kind of give us a little ring around the rosy here for a second. <clears throat> now, this um, 14 cage... There's only three ways to make 14. It's 9, 5, 8, 6. Uh, sorry, there's only two ways to make 14. 9, 5, and 8, 6. Uh, these can't be 9 or 8. So these have to be from 5 or 6. And then this has to be from 9 or 8, but it can't be 8 at all. So this has to be 9, and this has to be 5. And that's going to give us our 4 and our 9. And there we go. We did kind of go all around the pinwheel which just kind of looks like a pinwheel, actually, now that I'm looking at it. I wasn't quite sure what the, the, uh, the image was reflecting, but it does look like it's a pinwheel. So it does look like we're kind of just going around in the pinwheel. Cool. I was like what the visual when it, it adds up and, and makes sense in terms of the solution of the puzzle. Uh, don't know about you guys, but just one of those little things that I enjoy. Now, now that we know these things, we should be able to figure out this 12, right? If we go by that same logic and probably this 10 as well, we know we can't do 9, 3 on this 12. We could do 8, 4. Uh, and we can't do 7, 5. So, so therefore, it has to be 8, 4. Uh, do we, have, we do have 4 looking at this. So this is 8 and this is 4. This 10 can't be 9, 1. Can't be 8, 2. We've got both of those here. So we've got 7, 3, which appears to be a possibility. And we have 6, 4. 6, 4 does not work because we couldn't put 6 or 4 in either one. So this is a 7, 3, and there's a 7 here. So this is 7 and 3, and 6 and 3. Kind of assumed something would be uh, would show what this has to be, uh, but it doesn't look like we're there quite yet. Okay. now. The 18 and the 20 don't appear to really give me a ton of information just yet. So I'm going to take a look at Sudoku real quick and see if there's anything that stands out. One of these is a 1. And one of these is a 1. Mm, I don't think they're... Oh, there has to be a 1 here by Sudoku, which means there has to be a 1 here. Uh, they did a little something. Not a ton, but hey, take what we can get. Uh, there has to be a 2 down here by Sudoku. This 2 and these, uh, the set here that's looking into here, and this one. Uh, one of these is a 2. We know one of those already is. One of these must be a 2. That one doesn't give us much. So let's continue and see what we get. This is three. This is three. Uh, are we... 
I think we're done with our threes because we can put one more here. And that gives us, yeah, all nine of them. Okay, threes are done then. Let's keep going since it seems to be working. And this has to be a four. Therefore, this has to be a four. Uh, one of these two is a four. But we can't quite determine that yet. So we'll move on. And we get a five here. This has to be a six. This is going to have to be, what is it? Six as well. This would have to be an eight. Okay. Can we do anything similar up in here? We need to have a one and a five. I cannot determine that just yet. These guys need to have two, which could go anywhere. Five, which has to go up here somewhere, which actually that is going to tell us what this other row is. Uh, and eight was the other item, so this has to be eight. Make sure I'm right there. Yep, yeah, it's eight. That's two. Okay, so now that's going to tell us uh, we had to have a 1, 5 left in here. Now we know the 5 is over here, so this has to be our 5, and this has to be our 1. So we can get rid of all that, and we can probably finish this down here. We can. 1 and 7. Uh, we know what these two digits is. That's going to let us do our 18. These have to be from 6 and 7. Actually, we have a 6 there, so let's put our 7 and our 6 in here. Those together equal 13, so therefore this must be 5, and it's going to give us our 8 and our 5. Uh, didn't quite get the 4, 5, 4, 7 yet determined, but that's okay. Uh, this digit is a given of 4. These two have to be from 8 and 9. We've got an 8 there, so this is 9 and 8. Uh, we still haven't quite worked out this 2, 9 pair or this 4, 7 pair, but that's fine. What can we finish this digit here? We know what this is. It is a six. These are from five and two. Okay. See if there's anything more obvious we can go through here, but not quite. Two's in here. We still don't really know. It's one of those two. We know what these two digits are. They have to be from 5 and 8, and there's an 8 there, so this is 5 and 8. That gives us our 2 and our 5. This has to be from 2 or 9, and there's a 2 right here, so this is 9. That's going to solve this, 2 and 9. Uh, we've got a 14 now here, so this has to be 6. And this has to be from 4 or 7. There's a 4 right here. Well, this the column is what I was looking at. The four looks at it, so these are four, seven, this is seven, this is four, this is seven. And then our last two digits are going to be what? Four and two. And there we go. You solved the puzzle. Solution is correct. So that was a good one. That was a fairly quick one, actually. Um, once you, you know, figure out the uh, three to one ratios, it kind of all went together and, and, it, and it did kind of spiral a little, at, at least in the very beginning. Uh, in terms of a pinwheel, which I thought was quite lovely. So that was Five Black Trips by Rock Rat Zero. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.